Hello there and welcome to our tutorial today. I am your host and tutor Joseph Massey and together we are going to be diving in to the neutral trend presented of course within Margin Par's top 10 floral trends of 2023. In today's tutorial we're going to be spending a little bit of time working with one of the most delicious floral materials white delphinium and I'm going to show you how to create your own installation using these fabulous floral treats. Without further ado, let's dive in. Now in today's tutorial we're of course only going to be using one individual flower, the gorgeous white delphinium grown by Margin Par. Just look at the quality of these stems. I promise you we're going to create something rather gorgeous with them. Now when it comes to our tools, we don't need too many different things. First off, we just need some good strong chicken wire, some kind of test tubes, either water picks on sticks or normal test tubes will do, and a little bit of fishing line. Now we are going to start off by making a mechanic that looks a little bit something like this. I want you to take a length of chicken wire and this piece that I'm actually creating today is around about one meter in diameter but of course you can mix and match it as you need to. What we have done then for some additional support is we've added in two bamboo canes and just secured them using some tie rip or some zip ties to secure them firmly in position. Now the form that we've got here is pretty much horizontal. It's incredibly linear in its form and that's going to work really really well because when we're using our delphinium we know for sure that because the stems are so straight and so strong they benefit from being used in such a way. You know they're not a flower that has a huge amount of flexibility or a huge amount of curvature in its stem so we want to make sure that we're using the characteristics of the flower in a really beautiful easy way. You can see here we've added in two bamboo sticks for support and we've suspended the actual installation by a couple of yeah, individual key points using the clear fishing line. Now for fishing line you don't necessarily have to use it, there are obviously other alternatives on the market such as gripple wire, it's a one that I recommend quite a lot but for smaller installations like this some good strong fishing line will do the job no problem at all. Just make sure it's a good strong thick piece that you're using. Now the first thing that we need to do is to begin wiring our delphinium. So you can see here I'm going to take a single stem of the delphinium, turn it upside down, and then I'm going to take a pretty thick floristry wire. This one is a 1.2 gauge. You can see I'm going to insert it directly through the stem, curve up the end, and at the other end of the wire I'm just going to hook it right round creating a simple little hook. Now as mentioned, delphinium look amazing when they're used in alignment with their characteristics, you know, using their lovely long straight lines. So what we're actually gonna do for the first step of this project is begin by wiring up some delphinium to create some fabulous, gorgeous little hooks, which we can then use to attach our delphinium into our, our design. Now, this is a really interesting way of working because of course, we're working water-free with this composition. So you can imagine this installation will be used for a one day celebration or wedding or event. And actually by using the majority of our delphinium upside down, we're not going to notice too much as the delphinium start to fade over the duration of the celebration. Now, if you're inspired by this tutorial and you maybe want it to last a little bit longer, maybe you have a multi-day party, a multi-day event, there's no reason at all why you couldn't just switch up this technique to place the delphinium into water tubes and then wire the water tubes and then secure them in to the chicken wire in exactly the same way. So we'll be working waterless for this project, but you can mix it up if you want to. Here we can see uh, the first step in our installation. I've taken around about 20 different stems of delphinium and we can see here that we've hung them at ever so slightly different heights. Now the overall total height of this installation is currently just under around a meter and we will be making it a little taller and a little bigger too. But what we can see right here is the very beginning of the form that our installation is going to take. All of these delphinium have been wired at ever so slightly 
different lengths using the exact same hooking technique that we just shared together. So really, really simple and really accessible too. So for example, if you're a person that maybe thinks, oh my gosh, there's no way I could recreate this trend myself, or there's no way I would be able to do that, I guarantee you, you will, because the technique is so simple and so easy. I mean, of course, we're going to mix it up and match it a little bit later on with something that might feel a little bit more advanced. But right now, all we're doing is utilizing a simple hooking technique to begin to create our delphinium installation. It's worth noting that this technique also is used for when you're creating chandeliers. So if you're ever creating a floral installation where all the flowers are hanging downwards, you can utilize this very same technique. Now with the magic of cinema, you can see I've added in a few more stems all of which are hanging downwards, replicating the look and feel of what we just started with, or the stems that we initially started out with. We can see that all of the delphinium are hanging downwards, looking absolutely gorgeous, absolutely flawless, and are starting to create a really gorgeous feeling, a really gorgeous presence within the piece that we're working on. We're going to mix it up now by creating the upward movement within our installation, once again, using solely delphinium. Now, I find that sometimes it can be the most striking of things to create arrangements that feature one type of floral material, for example, monofloral materials. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're really letting these delphinium stems shine and become the real star of the show. Now, with these stems, I'm taking them to around about 30 centimeter and in length, you know, trimming off the base and then inserting them through the chicken wire, keeping all of them upright. We can see here how our installation is starting to take shape, especially when we look at the gorgeous texture of the delphinium. Now, delphinium is not always a flower that you see used en masse because of its striking appearance and, of course, because of its incredible height as well. Often, delphinium are usually the star of the show and are used kind of in a way that really allows you to appreciate the form of the flower. However, what we're doing here with our delphinium is using them en masse to create a spectacle that really has quite the lasting impression because it's not often that you see so many stems of this incredibly gorgeous floral used in such a way, especially in gorgeous installations such as this. Now, as mentioned, we're using exclusively margin par delphinium here, and we're taking a stem at a time, working it through the installation and just continuing adding in. So we started off by having all of our stems dangling down, coming in and down towards the table, and that really set the tone. From there, we started to fill in our installation with some shorter stems at the very top. So the majority of the proportions in this design are hanging downwards or trailing downwards. However, we do have some of our stems coming up towards the top, as we can see here. Now, the incredible presence that we've created with this installation is really one not to be undermined or not to be glanced over. This gorgeous chandelier can be used in a million different ways. Maybe it's a signature statement piece for a brand, for a launch, for an opening. Maybe it's a romantic piece for a very special celebration. There are so many different ways in which we can utilize this specific installation. And I know for sure that with installations, once you begin sharing with your clients exactly what you can create, you can create more and more demand for these installations as a really fabulous, innovative way of being able to use materials that are truly unexpected and to really capture people's imagination and make people stop and stare and take, of course, Instagram pictures and selfies and other bits and pieces with them. They really set the tone for your florals and, of course, for the design that you're creating to stand out, to really set the tone, the look, the feel, and to be the star of the show. By adding in more and more stems of the delphinium, here we have created our finished floral installation with so many different stems of the delphinium used at different lengths to create that gorgeous pattern which almost feels like very delicate light rain cascading down towards the tabletop. On the table we've scattered just a handful of gorgeous delphinium heads and we have a couple of bowls of fruit there too just to accent the glorious green and white colours that are coming through 
from the installation itself. Now, the great thing about this particular installation and working with the margin par delphinium is they're incredibly easy to work with. The simple hooking technique that we have used will keep the stems looking good for up to 10 hours, maybe 12 hours, depending, of course, on the conditions that the installation is placed into. So this kind of installation would work so, so well for a wedding or party or a launch party, something like that, a good celebration where it can be used for the duration of the event. As mentioned though, there are ways into which we can make all of our balloons into water, enabling us to have an installation like this last a little bit longer should we need to. We can see here all of the fabulous detail of the delphinium, and I don't know about you, but this has created a really statement installation that will really stand out for our clients for whatever reason or event or party that they have in mind. Thank you so much for joining me today for this neutral trend from the Margin Park Top 10 Floral Trends of 2023. I've been your host, Joseph Massey, and I look forward to seeing you on our next tutorial really soon. Until then, have a wonderful day.